Fun fact. Lucy pretends to be an experienced hunter to impress her date, but chaos ensues. Though Lucille Ball was known more for her comedic talents than outdoor activities, this episode humorously explores her character's efforts to adapt to the unfamiliar world of duck hunting, showcasing her iconic slapstick comedy style. Lucy's surprising skill at a perfect duck call adds to the hilarity. The Lucy Show, starring Lucille Ball. Co-starring Vivian Vance. No, thanks. I'm busy. Oh. I guess not, Eddie. She has other plans. 7.30? I'll be ready. Huh? <laughs> oh, Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> what is she doing? <laughs> She's throwing Eddie some kisses over the phone. Well, if you got a kiss, that's the only way to do it. <laughs> okay, Eddie, toodaloo. I didn't know you were busy Saturday night. What are you going to do? Uh, I'm taking the kids to the movies. Oh, gee, Mom, I didn't know about that. Cynthia's coming over, and we're going to do each other's hair. Oh, well, that's all right, dear. Just Sherman and Jerry and I'll go. I'm sorry, Aunt Lucy, but I'm playing basketball at the Y Saturday night. Oh, well, looks like that leaves just you and me, Jerry. I can't go either. Why not? Don't you remember Billy Simmons is having a dumb old birthday party? <laughs> oh, that's right. What's so dumb about a birthday party? He invited girls. <laughs> well, now, uh, what's the matter with that? Yeah, girls are neat. When you get older, Jerry, you'll like girls. I should live so long. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I've got a lot of homework to do, too. I better get started. Excuse me. They're going to do their homework? Uh-huh. Are they sick or something? <laughs> no, the TV set is broken. <laughs> Wait a minute. What? Lucy, you weren't really busy when I asked you to go out Saturday night, were you? No. But after that dud you and Eddie fixed me up with last Saturday night, I've sworn off blind dates forever. Oh, this one's different. Oh, sure. He is. He's a client of Eddie's. I've met him, and we're both crazy about him. Well, then you two go out with him. Oh, <laughs> wait a minute. Will you listen to me? His name is Bill King. He's charming and attractive. He's very witty, and he's got scads of money. Well, how come this combination Cary Grant, Bob Hope, and J. Paul Getty can't get his own date for Saturday night? Because he's fussy. Well, I'm fussy, too. Boy, are you. Whoosh. Oh, come now. I'm not that fussy. Yes, you are. Every new man you meet has to suit you perfectly. Oh. You'll find something wrong with every single one of them. That one's a bore. This one's a tight wad. That one doesn't like children. This one can't carry a tune. He wears wax on his mustache. He wears alligator shoes. He is All the All right, Viv, you made your point. I'm just trying to make you see how picky you are. Lucy, you've got to learn to play along. Make a man's interest your interest. If he likes fishing, you tell him that you like fishing. If he likes baseball, you say you like baseball. You've got to learn to adjust. But that's dishonest. Supposing you start off that way and end up marrying the man. Oh, after that, it's up to him to adjust. <laughs> well, I guess you're right. Maybe I am too persnickety. Then you'll go Saturday night, huh? Well, now, maybe I will. Tell me some more about him. You mean more than he's handsome, he's clever, and he's loaded? Well, I have to learn to unpersnick gradually. <laughs> oh, I'm going to call Eddie and tell him you'll go. And if I know Bill King... We'll probably go to 21 for dinner, and then we'll take in a Broadway show, and then we'll go supper dancing at the Waldorf. Well, if I tried, I guess I could learn to adjust to that. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up, Lucy. Bill and Eddie will be here any minute. I'm ready. But my heart isn't in it. 
Now, Lucy, I thought we agreed that from now on you're going to think positive. Look, when they ask us where we want to go to dinner, now what do we say? Uh, the Four Seasons? The Colony? Where would you like to go? Back upstairs. <laughs> All right. That's my last negative thought. I am going to have a good time. I am going to adjust like mad. And who knows? He may be the man of my dreams. Good girl. And even if he isn't the man of your dreams, at least it'll get you out of the house for a change. Yeah. You know, it isn't very often that we get to get ourselves all gussied up and go in for a big night on the town. Yeah, that's true. Here they are. Hi, Tootsie. Hi, Hi. <laughs> You remember Bill King? Hello, Bill. Good to see you again, Vivian. Oh, it's good to see you again. Hi, Lucy. Bill, I want you to meet my friend Lucy Carmichael. Bill King. Uh, how do you do, Lucy? Uh, hello. Didn't I tell you she was gorgeous? Oh, Eddie. <laughs> gorgeous? She's a knockout. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Easy, fellas. You're embarrassing her. Vivian, I'll let you know when I'm embarrassed. <laughs> well, shall we go? Uh, Tootsie, on our way over here, Bill had a great idea about where to eat dinner. Yeah, I got the figuring that you're probably just as bored as I am with 21 in the store club. Oh, uh, yes, uh, bored to tears. No, so I thought we'd, we'd eat someplace different for a change. Oh. Well, she hasn't been to the colony for, oh, maybe two or three weeks. <laughs> oh, he didn't mean the colony. We thought for a change we'd have a home-cooked meal. Uh. <laughs> and just where were you planning to cook this home-cooked meal? We thought we'd eat here. Oh. Here? You mean, this here, here? Well, I figured anyone as gorgeous and popular as you doesn't get many chances to eat at home. Uh, oh, no, well, that's right. I, I barely know where the kitchen is. Well, Tootsie, how does it sound? Well, anything you fellas want to do is all right with us. Isn't it, Lucy? Oh, sure, sure. Oh, darn it, I just remembered there isn't a thing in the house to eat. Yes, that's right. So, looks like another boring evening at 21. Mm -hmm. Oh, we took care of that. On our way, we stopped and bought four of the most beautiful steaks you ever saw. Yeah, I got them out in the car. I'll go get them. I'll start the charcoal and the barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it funny how you can be dining at 21 and going dancing at the Waldorf and still have the feeling that you never left home? <laughs> well, now, it didn't work out exactly as we planned. But you'll have to admit, he's pretty cute. And it's a good thing for you he is, or I'd punch you right in the nose. <laughs> oh, now, Lucy, there's nothing wrong with eating at home. And I suppose you could say that dining on the patio could be considered as getting out of the house for a change. <laughs> Remember what I said, adjust. Make a man's interest your interest. Whatever he likes to do, you like to do. If he likes eating at home, you like eating at home. All right, Vivian, I'll adjust. What he likes, I like. Here are the steaks. I had the butcher cut these especially for me, two and a half inches thick. Oh, yum, yum. <laughs> Say, you know, I, I just realized something. You're all dressed up. I bet you really want to go into New York and you're just being polite. No. <laughs> I'll tell you what let's do. Let's have dinner at home and then let's go dancing someplace later, huh? Oh, Viv, that's a keen idea. Well, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm afraid that's out. Why? Well, I'd love to go dancing, but I have to get up early in the morning. Oh, well, no sense Lucille! In... <laughs> we'll go dancing the next time, huh? Vivian, we don't know if there's going to be a next time. <laughs> Well, I certainly hope so. <laughs> I'll take the steaks out to Eddie. I like steaks. Now, you two just get acquainted. <laughs> oh. I, uh, I, I like your house. Oh, I like it, too. <laughs> I mean, uh, I mean it, it's fine if, if you like living in the country. 
Oh, I, I love the country. I love the country, too. <laughs> I like to hike in the woods. Oh, I like to hike in the woods, too. <laughs> but for really all-around exercise, I like swimming. I like swimming, too. <laughs> you know what I really like? That's what I really like. <laughs> What do you really like? Hunting. Oh, me too. What kind of hunting do you like best? What kind do you like best? I like duck hunting. Me too. I like duck hunting. <laughs> no kidding. Yeah, no kidding. Say, I'm going duck hunting tomorrow. Oh. Why don't you go along? Why not? Uh, we'll go to my duck club. We'll go to your duck club. I'll bring the gun. Yeah, you'll bring the gun. Yeah. I'll, I'll pick you up at 4 a.m. You pick me up at 4 a.m.? What? <laughs> 4 a.m. 4 a.m.? Are you sure the ducks will be up? <laughs> well, I, I mean, do you think it's sporting to shoot them before they've had their coffee? <laughs> the charcoal's almost ready. Oh, I'm Vivian. going to make a salad. Vivian, I owe you and Eddie a vote of thanks. You have found me the perfect woman. She likes to eat at home, and she loves duck hunting. Yes, yeah, she likes to eat at home, and she loves duck hunting. <laughs> yeah, Viv, we're going duck hunting tomorrow. Bill's picking me up at 4 a.m. in the morning. Isn't it amazing? Lucy likes everything I like. Good. <laughs> I'll go make the salad. Oh, this is great. <laughs> oh, I like to eat at home. I hate to eat in restaurants. Yeah, I like hating to eat in restaurants, too. <laughs> One, what does Viv suggest that Lucy do to meet a new man? One, sing. Two, pretend to like everything. Three, change her hair. One, what does Viv suggest that Lucy do to meet a new man? One, sing. Two, pretend to like everything. Three, change her hair. The answer, she pretends to like everything that her date likes. getting up early in the morning. The crisp air, the beautiful sunrise, the birds singing. <sighs> you know, most people miss all this by staying in bed. Yeah, the poor wretches. <laughs> oh, by the way, which duck do you like to shoot? Uh, which duck do you like to shoot? Well, I'm a mallard man myself. Oh, I'm a mallard man, too. <laughs> Although for good sport, I rather like the hooded mergansers. Yeah, well, I must admit that the hooded mergansers are good sports. <laughs> well, it won't be long now. We'd, we'd better get ready. Yeah. Well, what kind of gun do you prefer? Well, why don't you just pick one out for me? Well, you know better than I what shape your shoulder's in. <laughs> Have you, uh, have you been doing much hunting lately? Well, no, not really. <laughs> well, then I guess you better use this over and under 12 gauge. It won't give you so much recoil. Oh. Boy, it sure is good to have an over and under 12 gauge in my hand. <laughs> That is a decoy. Well, it sure fooled me. You 
shot my decoy. I carved it myself. Well, you sure did a good job to fool an old hunter like me. Ducks will be along any minute now, huh? What? Oh! What's that? Well, that's Van Tassel. This is gonna be my first Van Tassel of the season. Lucy, no! That's Charlie Van Tassel. <laughs> Yeah, he, he's in the next duck blind. He's, he's giving duck calls. Oh. <laughs> anyway, you, you wouldn't want to shoot old Charlie. He's out of season. <laughs> <laughs> no, I sure wouldn't want to. I <laughs> Say, where's your duck call? Did you bring it along? My duck call? Yeah. Uh, by George, I knew I'd forgotten something. Yeah. Say, I got a new one yesterday. Oh? Sounds just like a mallard. Oh, may I try it? Oh, sure. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <coughs> Gee, that sure sounds like a mallard, all right. <coughs> What's the matter? The mud just moved. That's not mud. That's a bullfrog. A bullfrog? <laughs> My duck call. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll get it. I'll yeah. get it. Are they large bullfrogs? No, but you watch your step. Okay. They're right over in here, doesn't it? I don't know. Is this the only one you have? <laughs> Did you find it? No, I didn't find it. Would you help me out of here, please? Certainly. I see some coming. We'll just sit down and wait for more ducks, if there are any. Right. <laughs> Question 2. Where does Lucy go early in the morning? 1. She goes duck hunting. 2. She goes to the market. 3. She goes for a jog.
Question 2. Where does Lucy go early in the morning? 1. She goes duck hunting. 2. She goes to the market. 3. She goes for a jog. The answer, she goes duck hunting. something to tell you. What? Well, you may not believe this, but this is the first time I've ever been duck hunting. No kidding. <laughs> See something? No. Gee, that's awful. I made you lose your duck call. Well, it's gone. There's nothing we can do about it now. Hey, maybe I could imitate a duck call. Oh, sure. Well, I could try. Look, please. If you want to do something for me, would you go wait in the car? <laughs> hey. Hey, there comes some. No. No, they're they're too far away. They'll never come near us. Quack, quack. 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 Well, they're, they're coming closer. Well, don't just sit there. Start quacking. Okay, Lucy, you can stop now. Then that's my limit on now, Lucy. Stop, stop, stop. You know, once you get started, it's hard to turn your clucker off. <laughs> Lucy, that's wonderful. Well, that's a very rare talent. Where did you ever learn that imitation? I don't know. I never had any lessons or anything. You know, some people can sing, some people can dance. I guess I was just born to quack quack. <laughs> well, that's wonderful. Here, I better go pick up my ducks. Oh, hiya, Bill. Hi, Charlie. Say, Bill, I've spent a fortune on duck holes, but I've never heard anything like yours. <laughs> Where did you get it? <laughs> on a blind date. Huh? <laughs> Come here. Meet my duck call. Charlie Van Tassel, Lucy Carmichael. Quack, quack. You, mean, you were making those calls? Quack, quack. <laughs> Isn't she the greatest? Boy, I'll say. Hey, I wonder if I can borrow her. Oh, sure. <laughs> hey, you don't mind, do you, Lucy? Oh, not at all. If you can't quack quack for a friend, who can you quack quack for? <laughs> oh, boy, thanks, Bill. Anytime, Charlie. Good luck. Should what? I go ahead? Go ahead. Quack quack. Quack quack. Quack quack. Quack quack. Quack quack. Quack quack. Louder. Quack quack. Quack quack. Quack quack. Quack quack. Quack quack. <laughs> Thanks very quack, much. Quack. Oh, oh, not at all. <laughs> Next. <laughs> uh, what kind of duck call would you like? Mallard, hooded, merganza, or scout? Uh, mallard would be fine. Okay. Quack. Pardon me. Would you mind if I got up and stretched my legs for a minute? I've been sitting here quacking all morning. Of course not. Go right ahead. Thank you. Quack, quack. Quack, quack. Quack, quack. Quack, quack. Quack, quack. Lucy. Yeah. Are you about ready? Well, I got all these other fellows here. Go ahead. Oh, you look darling. Isn't that 
a new dress? Uh-huh. Bill and I are going out. You mean you're not going <coughs> duck hunting in the morning? No, ma'am. The duck hunting season ended yesterday, and may I say, hallelujah. <laughs> I couldn't have looked another hooded merganser in the beak. <laughs> you see, it all worked out fine. You like what he likes. Eddie says Bill's just crazy about you. Oh, I'm not sure if he's crazy about me or crazy about my quack quacks. <laughs> <laughs> well, from now on, it'll be dining and dancing every night. Oh, it'll be fun to go dancing. I just hope my feet haven't become webbed. <laughs> Do still. Hi, Bill. Good evening, Lucy. Hi, Bill. Hi, Vivian. Lucy, you look lovely. <laughs> Thank you. I'm surprised you recognize me without my waiters. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're really going to celebrate tonight. The sky is the limit. Where would you like to go? Well, I I'd like to drive into New York. I thought maybe we could have dinner at that well, new the, restaurant. Well, the only I thing is, uh, I'd like to get home early. I have to fly to Canada in the morning. Oh, business trip? No. No, it's the opening of moose season. <laughs> The moose season? <laughs> Say, Lucy, would you like to join me? How are you on moose calls? Question 3. What special skill does Lucy find out she has? 1. She's excellent at duck calls. 2. She can sing. 3. She can dance. Question 3. What special skill does Lucy find out she has? 1. She's excellent at duck calls. 2. She can sing. Three, she can dance. The answer, she's excellent at duck calls. <laughs>